Distilled Southern Southern Forest. This looks badass. This is the still world. Everything you see floating around in here was sucked in through a rift. Anything that ends up here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that ended up in the rifts, though. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zelda. I agree. Let's go. All right. Nice little phone call with my mother. See, now this is where... Oh, so it's just like... Just like a wild encounter. I'm having a feeling this fire one is going to be really good. And it's gonna be... Significantly rely- Oh, this is the guy's wife. Will eventually fade away. That one helped to you, Zelda. You're special. Well, thanks for calling us special, homie. So I'm gonna imagine these rifts are gonna be what replace dungeons. So I'm gonna try and be fairly thorough when going through this. I would have thought that there would have been damage associated. The one thing I will say is that I am not excited for about this com combat is it seems like this could be very slow. Um, let me try out a Spear Moblin. Throw your spears, dummy! Okay. So maybe I just really need to target what I spawn. What's up here? Um, so it said that I can eat stuff. We'll go ahead and do that. The splitting path. I remember this one from the castle. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our trampoline. Really? <laughs> Five rupees? That was not... I guess it was worth it. I mean, finding that 50 rupee allowed us to get a, uh, a piece of heart really early. So I wonder what the boss is going to be like. Assuming there is a boss. There's warp points in here, too. We're getting closer to my friends, but they're further in. So can I warp back here in the overworld, or is it only when I'm in this dungeon? Yep. 
I... I am very confused. Do I have anything that could potentially destroy this outside of... That's a pretty big rock, huh? You know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move things around a lot. I bet you have the ability... I bet the ability for you would come in handy. If you guide me with the rod, I can move things based off your movement. And guide me... Wait. Okay, that's actually really cool. Let's see what's down here first before I start. You learn the Stanchula Echo. That's really cool. I uh, didn't want to miss out on that chest, though. <laughs> so this is very clearly a tutorial dungeon. Um... Alright, let's see what's in here. The dungeon map! Alright. This doesn't seem like a long dungeon, but... Uh, let's... Go ahead and... Not what I wanted to use. Use beds. And do this. Go ahead and beat him. Come on. Go ahead and throw. I wish I could control when he throws everything. Uh, what if I try this instead? He is going to get set on fire. Uh, what about one of these? 
Oh. That, that worked perfectly. Um, let's go ahead and go and bring you back. No, we'll put that right there. We're not able to continue forward this way. What about this way? That is a yes. Let's go ahead and grab you. Um, go ahead and do that. And then we can use this. Trampoline. And that should lift that. Perfect. We got our next teleportation point. Before we proceed forward, I want to teleport back to uh, the main floor and get this chest before we just get a little too far away. Yep. It's nice being able to teleport at different points in the dungeon. That's actually really cool. Um, alright, so we are able to do this, so my thought is, um, let's do, no. Oh. Do something like this. And let's grab the chest that's in here. Perfect. Ah, huh, that's actually kind of cool. What is this? Five portions of radiant butter? Interesting. Alright, let's go ahead and teleport back to here. Go 
then do this. I'm gonna get 50 rupees. Nice. Let's continue onward. Really hope that one of these echoes gives us a speed boost. I'd be a large fan of that. Oh. Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? Interesting. Um, well, since I have this, I'm almost wondering if this is a little bit of a cheat code. So I'm gonna just let that do its thing and kind of do my own thing as the P hat does whatever it wants. I can't believe that worked as well as it did. Um, all right, let's try you. Um, how about setting him on fire? Uh, that obviously didn't work too well. The pea head is what's been working the best. That was intense. He looked like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. Uh, he was weird, like the imposters back at the castle. Looks like he left something behind. We do get a sword! I feel powerful energy coming from that sword, even more powerful than the rifts. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. Look strong, like that guy who wears green. So I can switch forms automatically when the energy gauge is deployed. You're able to go around and gather energy? Interesting.
All right, we are going to see what else is around here. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. We don't need to use that. We have the spider thing. I completely forgot about that. You got the heart pit and hair? What? Oh! Wait, 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 wait. How do you equip it? Okay, that's cool. All right, so here's the boss door. Nice. One thing I will say is we haven't found... So is this a moment where being sword fighter is just help helpful? Go ahead and learn that. <laughs> Deku Baba. Nice. All right, so we will become sword fighter again. I think that's a pretty creative way for them to, like, put Link into the game, but not really. Um, obviously I need something here. I see. That's gonna drop this. Okay. I'm picking up what's being put down game. We get a purple rupee. Not exactly what I had in mind for a cool puzzle game. <laughs> um... Oh, killing that is gonna give us, what, the boss key, probably? So I wasn't reading on how you can get the energy to draw near you. I might have to go back and see. Maybe I just have to jump towards it? I really don't know. Imagine we will 
just end up looping around. This is a really long dungeon for a first dungeon. This is probably going to turn into a video of its own. Oh yeah, Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when using bind. After binding yourself with X, try holding R. Your movements follow what you are bound to. That's pretty cool. Can't even cap. That's pretty badass. You probably saw what I was trying to do there. That's not what I wanted to do. For a first dungeon, this is pretty, like... Well done. Like, typically you can get through a first dungeon in, like, ten-ish minutes. Kudos to... Kudos to this team. Perfect. This should work. <laughs> uh... This took way too long to do. Um... Please be something good. All that for Red Rippy, really? <laughs> that, I put in some effort to get that. Um, back in here. There you go. The trampoline certainly is helpful. Now here is the big key. So yeah, I didn't want to didn't want to call it boss key too early. Didn't want to call it big key too early. Oh, nice. So we can just backtrack. Maybe I'm just like bad, and that's why this dungeon took me forever. But. I can't complain. So what's the word? Nobody's here. But I definitely sensed my friends in the spot earlier. Seismic? Talus. My friends, they're in that creature. We've got to get them out of there. My first thought is to do that. Stay out of this. Conserve our energy. Not do anything too stupid just yet. Run. Throw your arm. Keep missing the opportunities. I 
I need more of the blue stuff. It's in his head now. Ron, Ron. We might have just done it. That's a heart container for us. Love that it's that sprite. Let's go. Oh my god. There are a bunch of trees. Breeze. Whatever the thing's called. Try. <laughs> Zelda, these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and are ready to go to work. So now we can finally fix the rift from here. Using our echo ability, we can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. Watch this. Oh, look at that. That's cool. My friends shared some of their power with me. Oh, we get a fourth. Nice. I feel like I can do even more now. Oh, yeah. Also, they told me while we were fixing the rift, they said some big rock monsters showed up and captured them. So then they weren't able to fix the rift because the, the monster was trapped inside. Oh, and one other thing. There are crystals that show up when we fix rifts. They're neat. So I'll give them to you, Zelda. You got five unused crystals from Try. I'm all finished up here, so we can head out when you're ready. I think we can leave from that spot. Well, first off, let's grab our reward. Five hearts already. Let's go. Let's go ahead and try and get out of this. We can travel between the still world and your world here. Would you like to return to your world now? Yes. The rift that was here is gone, which means we can reach the place you were trying to go earlier. If we keep this up, we'll be able to fix all the rifts and we'll be able to save your father. Yeah. Yo, there, you there, a moment of time? Uh. Minister left, I am left. Minister of Hyrule, pardon my pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? <laughs> oh, Princess Zelda! I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Why are you wearing that? Oh, so we failed to save you from that beast, and now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess, I'm surprised to hear your abilities. And your friend Try accompanied you this whole time? Yeah. Thank you so much, Try. You can see me? Who could miss you? You're floating right there, aren't you precious? Thought only Zelda could see me. Oh, Lady Impa couldn't see you. How odd. Yeah. Oddities aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, let's head to the location Lady Impa told you about. Oh, getting ahead of myself. Would you mind showing me your map? If I recall correctly. 
Yes, that's the place. The, the, that's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she sent you there. I'll lead the way. Follow me. Alright, well... So they're going to want us to follow this lady. Um, I personally am going to be ending off the episode. This is actually episode three. So episode two doesn't have a formal outro. Sorry about that. Uh, I didn't expect that dungeon to take so long. But I'm enjoying the hell out of this game. I hope you are too if you have it. If not, I hope you enjoy the content. In the meantime, while you don't have the game. That's all I have for you right now. Take it easy. Peace. Peace.